What's going on, you guys? My name's Morgan, and welcome back to another Diary of a Dog Mom with 21 Dogs. So, we have to give Crane a bath. I can't remember what she did, but she did something, and it was bath time. I have to give her a bath today, too, because she threw up on herself in the middle of the night in the bed. But it's time for a bath. She just looked all nasty, and when she's finally done with her bath, she's very, very happy, but she's not happy at the same time. I mean, I wouldn't be very happy if I had to have a bath, too. I mean, she just really wants out. And then next we're giving Cookie Wookie a bath. So Cookie is, as, as you can tell, she is a little bit tougher to gain weight than Cream. I've been feeding Cream more and just, it, it's worked a lot for Cream. She eats about a, a cup and a half a day. And Cookie's eats the same, but she's still kind of struggling to gain weight. I took her to the vet, that said she's healthy, the food she's on is good, it's just, She's just kind of having problems gaining weight. Her thyroid's good, but cookies is cookies. And then now we have nap time. Everybody decided it's it's just time to go to bed. But Noodle and Hermes are kind of just hanging out, being little good boat boys. They're just the cutest thing. And I'm so happy that Noodle found his new home. It's just awesome that he found a home for himself. But everybody's kind of just hanging out. Ruby's on the bed. Taking a nap with Chica. This is kind of the usual behavior for them then we're going to play some Baldur's Gate 3 I'm absolutely in love with this game everybody's still kind of rough housing and running amok and acting crazy and then we have puppy time the puppies are being pup what puppy what doing what puppies do they're kind of just hanging out I love Artie she's got such long hair and Mia had just gotten a bath so she looks a little bit wet but I had just cleaned these puppy pads and you know puppy pads can't stay clean then we've got two little boys hiding in their little kennel pin thing but Mia she's she needed a bath so bad and then these two boys they just they don't want to come out they're so laid back and everybody else is going nuts as you can tell by their you know their behavior I ended up moving them but I didn't like where they were the second time I moved them so I ended up just kind of moving them back into the bathroom Mia was a lot more comfortable in the bathroom without so many dogs around so this honestly really does not last and Mia was just so worn out. She was ready to gain weight and for the puppies to stop feeding. So I ended up taking her out and letting them be by themselves at six, week old, six weeks old. Which, I mean, she didn't really... She wanted to be with them, but at the same time, she didn't. So I ended up removing her. They started on their own food, and Mia did a lot better gaining a lot of weight. And then, I think this is from the previous video, but we have Hershey running through a... Not so much a field, but just going absolutely kind of crazy happy to be outside happy to be running around just you know things her she does she is crazy sometimes but as, as you can see the wheel back with mama and puppies once i took her out she did a lot better it took her about a week to dry up on her milk supply she had so much milk because she had so many puppies and everybody's on the bed just hanging out taking a nap doing what puppies do best and then we end up taking zero and fuzzy and lady and mocha to the park this is the first time Mocha and Lady have ever been to the park, but we were in here by our, we were there, we were there by ourselves, so I could let them run around without having to worry that a big dog was going to hurt one of them. So there's good things. Just go. I just prefer to go by our own by ourselves and be there by ourselves than having to worry about everybody else's dogs. Because I'm aware of what my dogs are capable of. I don't want to have to worry about other people's dogs, which you know you can say then don't go to the dog park. Well, I love going to the dog park. It's five acres of free running, and they are so good. But um, I just don't want to worry about everybody else's dogs. And there were other people in the actual fenced-in area. This area had uh, a couple holes in it, but it's on the fence line. So they didn't really go up to the fence line, and every time they did, I'd kind of get them to come back down. But they had a lot of fun, and then this is when I let Mia out. She was starting to get out of the pen and not wanting to be with them so much. So the puppies are going kind of crazy. And I ended up having to clean all this because, you know, puppies poop a lot. So I had to clean up the whole area, which, again, puppy poop, puppies poop a lot. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. See you guys later.